new videos every day. Life Wisdom. Hey, it's Cena Maddie, ready for another yoga video here in Austin, Texas. And some people say yoga is for pansies, so that's why I'm doing it here at Atomic Athlete, where some of the most hardcore athletes in Austin, Texas work out and train. We're gonna do some good stuff for athletes too, so. And don't worry, I'll offer modifications for those beginners. So I want you to start out in child's pose. I want your knees a little bit further than hip width apart, and your arms are stretched out in front of you as far forward as you can get. Really reaching forward with those arms, butt pressing back down to the ground as well. Inhale, come up, tuck your toes underneath, bring it up into a downward dog, and pedal those feet back and forth, left and right, really stretching out those calves. Come forward into a plank, squeezing your glutes tight, and then back into downward dog with left and right movements. Back into plank, drop your knees, bring your knees, making sure that their hips are in line with your knees, taking your left arm out and your right leg back, making sure to flex your foot, reaching your toes all the way down towards the ground and reach your left foot extending towards the opposite wall and back down on an inhale right arm forward left leg up left toes reaching down towards the ground right arms right fingers reaching towards the opposite wall and down one more the left side left arm right leg and exhale down inhale up and exhale back down back up to a plank position and downward dog stretching out those calves one more time I'm gonna show you guys a couple of plank options if you guys are beginners stay in that plank you can even do a four arm plank just like this so everybody reach forward come shift forward into that plank position note that you can always drop your knees note that you can always Stay in forearm plank with your legs up. But we're gonna offer some fun stuff for those who think yoga is not for strength. So go ahead, right leg, right elbow, and back up. Touch your forehead, back up, and then touch your left elbow. Switch it back to your right elbow, and back to your left. Back to your right, back to your left. And then back to downward dog, everyone, even those holding in plank. Don't forget to breathe, making sure you're pressing back into those heels. All right, one more time, shift forward into plank. If you want to fun stuff, you want to do some fun stuff, go ahead. Take your left leg, left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, back up, forearm your forehead back up to your right elbow switch to your left elbow back to your right back to your left one more time and then all the way back up both hands both feet down and both knees down to the ground stretch it out in a nice little child's pose we want to make sure you're breathing this whole time and then come up onto your palms and your knees and back into downward dog. Make sure you're breathing. Keep your quads in tight, making sure your chest is pressing towards the tops of the thighs. Now take your right leg, bring it up and through. Making sure to be nice and perpendicular with your knee and your leg. So you're in a high lunge position inhale bring it up engage your core lift your chest your left glute should be squeezed keep breathing right here and back down to the ground and then 
back up to downward dog and then put your right foot down. Take your left leg, bring it all the way up and bring it through, making sure that your knee is perpendicular and that you're grounded. Lift up into high lunge. You should really feel this in your right hip flexor. That right hip should be opening up and back down, back into plank and push back into downward dog. Inhale, right leg up and take your right knee to your right elbow. Go ahead and drop it down. Drop your left knee down to the ground and make sure that your foot is as parallel to the front of your mat as possible. You wanna make sure that your left leg is pointed straight. You don't want it any side angle. Make sure it's straight all the way back behind you. Lift up. With your press into your fingertips, lift your chest towards the ceiling and exhale, fold down. This is called pigeon pose. It's really gonna open up those hips. For those of you that weight lift and do a lot of squats, you really get tight hips. This will help you get deeper into that squat. And it's really good for your mobility as well. Making sure not to shy away from that right hip. You know it's hurting, but make sure to put equal weight in both hips. Now coming back up, tuck your left toe underneath, and then bring your right foot up and back down to downward dog. So take your left leg, bring it up high, and then left knee, left elbow, Bring your foot across, trying to make your shin perpendicular to the mat. You wanna look back at your right foot and make your foot is pointing in the direction of your leg. And sink in, pressing into your fingertips, lifting your chest up, and then folding down. You can put your head on the ground if that works. If it doesn't work for you to stay on your forearms. If you can get your chest all the way down to the ground, then you're a super fancy yoga master and I respect you. If you're feeling this in your left hip, I want you to like the video. Obviously not while you're doing the pose, but make sure you like it. Make sure you thumbs up it, favorite it. I'll keep doing more videos if you like me. And make sure you're not favoring that right side, pushing your weight into your left hip. You wanna feel it hurt. If it, if it doesn't hurt, you're probably not doing it right. Making sure to breathe into where it hurts and really relax. and then tuck that back toe, lift that back leg, and then all the way up into tripod down dog, and then back to downward dog. Pedaling your feet out, you should notice a significant difference between this downward dog and the first one that we did. You guys feel a little bit looser and more relaxed? All the way, hips back, and then drop your knees into child's pose and stay here as long as you like. Make sure to follow along with my other videos. I have yoga videos, stretching, cardio, strength training, and make sure to favorite me. So that way you can do this three times a week. Take a deep breath and have a great day.